Hi, welcome back. I hope you had a wonderful week and you're ready for another meeting. Today, we will continue talking about reviews and addressing uh, reviews and our clients' feedback. And we will be discussing the aftermath of having a review. So when we analyze our reviews and um, set up a plan to address possible issues, correct them and obviously improving our services. So grab your coffee or tea, come in. The meeting is about to start. So I declare now the meeting open. And last week we um, spoke about reviews and the importance of reviews and how to respond to reviews. Today we are going to um, address the aftermath of receiving a review. So I usually do this at the end of the year, so I um, get all the uh, customer service or customer uh, satisfaction um, surveys and I analyze them all and I uh, establish a plan. I possibly identify uh, possible issues and then I move forward with them. I think this is important because it uh, allows us to um, do a self uh, assessment of our business and of ourselves and obviously moving forward, improving our services and um, actually uh, getting more clients, which is what we all want. So. First of all, we need to make an assessment of all reviews. So we um, get all the reviews that we receive. That's why I do it usually at the end of the year because uh, then I can just grab all the reviews I've got and then analyze them all and see what they all say. So we grab them all, we read them all again. Uh, obviously it is important that when you receive you, these these reviews you reply straight away and we addressed that last week but this is the aftermath this is when you're going to analyze them and see um actually uh how you how you going if uh, people are satisfied with your business and with your performance or if people are um telling you that some things need to be addressed and need to be changed things like that this is very important because obviously we don't we don't going, we'll never correct an error if we don't know we, we have committed an error. If you don't acknowledge that you have made a mistake, you cannot possibly correct it because if you are not aware of that. So if your clients tell you uh, that something is wrong and you need to correct that and you need to address that problem, then obviously you will have to address it. So first of all, get all the reviews on your table, on your desk, read them all and see, uh, for example, start with the percentage of negative and positive feedback. And I, I say negative, I don't say um, that sort of uh, usual, usually people um, regard negative as all those comments that sometimes they, they don't really mean anything, they just mean to put you down and that's not it. Um, obviously a review is something important, extremely important. And most of the times they um, may uh, point out to several issues, but I wouldn't consider that totally negative. The purpose of um, calling it negative in this um, video is just to um, differentiate the both types of uh, review, the ones that actually praise your business and say they are very satisfied, etc, etc. And I, I would call it negative, but I don't consider it negative. The ones that say, okay, um, there is a few things. I'm a bit dissatisfied with this or that. So get them all and separate them by categories and then see what percentage of your clients are satisfied and what percentage of your clients um, have issues and they are not 100% satisfied. Then you will have an overview of what has been going on and what your clients are saying. This way you can establish the overall sentiment in your clientele. If uh, most of the reviews they are extremely happy and nothing is wrong, it will be very good for you. That means you're doing everything right. 
but if there is a, a small percentage or if there is a big percentage, whatever, of clients that point out a few things that you need to improve, well, that's not necessarily bad or negative. It just means that, okay, you made a mistake. Okay, you may have gone a little bit off track, but reading what your clients have to say and reading that they consider that something needs to be changed, you can obviously identify those errors and correct them. And that is the next step. You already made an assessment of all reviews you received. You already made an assessment of the overall sentiment of your clients. And the next step is identify common issues. From those that pointed out issues, pointed out things that they consider you could change and you could improve, see if there is a, a pattern there, if there is a repetition of uh, several clients pointing out to the same thing and make a list of the issues pointed out. And then you can also even do it by percentage. For example, 10% of the clients that point out an issue said that the prices are a little bit too high. This is just an example. Or 2% uh, of the uh, clients that have said that I had uh, that we have issues said that um, we should um, focus on the deadlines because there's something there. Sometimes the things are not uh, delivered on time. And, and, and believe me, if you have this sort of comment, it is something that you really need to address because it is it is crucial for our business to uh, meet deadlines. And if they are, and I have already said that in, a, in another video, in another subject, that um, if the deadlines are realistic and you, you see that you can't do it, you simply refuse the job or you address that with the, with the client and say, this is unrealistic, rather than accept the job that you know you're not going to be able to meet the deadline. This is very important, but that's a bit off track. Then if you have the all the issues that your clients have pointed out and everything in in order, like organized, and you see what the main things are, what most of your clients have said and what the issues are, then it's easy. You just have to set your plan to solve those issues and improve your services. So you can then see, understand the possible flaws in your business, what may have been happening. And obviously, um, I'm sure you haven't done it intentionally. And then you can set a plan. You see what issues are, you identify them, and then you set a plan to correct them and see how you, what you can do to overcome those. So, and then based on those, on that analysis, based on all that study of the reviews that you received, you can obviously set that plan and achieve your goal of improving your business and going towards what your clients expect from you and obviously um, a more um, profitable business. So this is what I think we should do with our reviews and how we should uh, analyze them and um, get those reviews and use them to our advantage. And I now declare the meeting closed. I hope you liked. I hope we give you a little bit of an insight of how to uh, deal with reviews um, and how to uh, actually um, use what the clients say and all these reviews in order to um, make an assessment of our business, make an assessment of yourself and your performance, and then set up a plan in order to um, evolve, in order to improve your business. Um, if you have any uh, questions, please feel free to ask, leave a comment below. Or if you have any experience that you would like to share, you know, please uh, feel free to comment. I will be very happy to answer all your queries and comments. Uh, you know, put a like on the video, the YouTube algorithm and all that. And subscribe the channel with a little click on the bell so you get a notification of a meeting every week. Before I go, I would like to thank you all for watching. See you next week. Thank you. Bye.